uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Metabolicious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a Coleman Incumbents or a Covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope you all are doing well and feeling well on tonight, okay? So this is going to be a love reading, guys, okay? Quick mini love reading, okay? Somebody is like hoping to maybe rekindle something with you okay um with this hope being the overall energy here i haven't given up on us yet okay spirit is saying that you deserve love you are lovable okay and it is safe for you to love okay spirit wants you to open up to give and receive the highest energy of all somebody could want your forgiveness in a relationship here somebody could be struggling to get over the past in a situation but somebody is like hoping for something wanting some type of forgiveness of some kind because this person feels like you're irreplaceable okay maybe they tried to replace you with someone new okay um they feel like the way you love could never be matched in some type of way this is someone who wants a commitment with you longevity with you okay marriage promises fidelity here okay but this is someone who has like a bit of an obsession with you an infatuation adoration addiction to you in some type of way okay they're hoping that one day someday somewhere another time of some time that you all may come back together and have this intimacy with one another this bonding sensual uh compassionate confiding type of energy with one another here okay spirit wants you to make the effort okay Spirit, wants, Spirit is saying that great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take here. But interestingly enough, behind make the effort is release your ex here, okay? So it's time for you to clear your energy here, okay? This could be an ex of yours here. Yeah, you're calling in your soulmate, okay? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations helps bring you together here, okay? Um, Some of you may have already released your ex in some type of way, okay? This could be a past person here, especially with hope and forgiveness and irre irreplaceable being here, okay? I feel like this some is someone that you may have had some type of dealings with okay spirit is saying that you deserve love and it is safe for you to love okay yeah somebody may be sending you some type of communication okay you may receive some type of swift fast communication messages news or information um from this person at some point in time here okay this could be a phone call text email um or something but some type of traveler communication okay could be coming towards you yeah because this person wants to make you some type of offer proposition or proposal of some kind this person wants to be generous in giving to you as well okay this person may pop back up bearing gifts of some kind here okay um, but they're going to reach out to you in some form of communication and make you some type of offer, proposition, or proposal. This could just be like asking you out on a date, asking, can y'all work things out? Can y'all get back together or something like that? Um, um, for some of you all, if this is someone, if this is indeed someone that you have known before, um, this person may be even coming in with an actual proposal, but with the six of pentacles here, this is that giving and receiving type of energy. Um, this person definitely may be very giving or generous unto you, uh, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, spirit is saying. So we have the ten, or excuse me, what is this? Mm -mm. So if you are, this may be an air sign, a queer sliver, or a Gemini here. I'm seeing the Ten of Cups as well. You may have a family with this person. 
yeah, you may be the mother of this person's children or something like that, okay? We have the Ten of Cups here and the Empress here, okay? So this could be like your, your child's father or something, but this person definitely wants some type of growth or passionate or passion with you. He, this person is still very passionate about you, okay? Um, this person may want to, obviously want to reconcile in some type of way with you okay maybe because you all because of the fact that you all have a family together or children together or what have you spirit is saying okay spirit what else is going on here okay yeah this is definitely someone from your past with the six of cups being here this king of uh, swords Aquarius, uh, Libra, gemini is someone from your past okay yeah they may even contact you, like when they initially send you some type of messages, news, information, or communication of some kind. Um, it may be pertaining to the family or the family that you all have together. And then this person is going to make you some type of proposition, proposal, or uh, uh, proposition, Empress. Okay? Um, like I said, they're going to be very generous in giving on to you. They're still very passionate about you. They want some type of growth with you, Spirit is saying, okay? With the sun being here, this talks about happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fulfillment, fresh starts here. Maybe some of you all would be happy to hear from this person, okay? Or the communication that you receive from this person may make you happy in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Um... I'm seeing a ten of pentacles here. Like this person. What the world? You may just be open. You may be happy because this person is coming. Like this person may tell you they have a large amount of money for you. Or they want to give you a large amount of money. This person is definitely lusting after you though. Okay. This person is still turned on by you sexually. But they want to heal the situation between you all, Spirit is saying, okay? This person wants you all to be lovers again, okay? Um, this person definitely wants to make love to you again, okay? That's heavily on this person's mind for sure. So to clarify this King of Swords, Six of Cups. <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing the moon and the devil here, okay? This person may have some type of secrets that they've been keeping from you. There could be something that this person is doing in secret, behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. Um, this person may even have a secret sex addiction with the moon and the devil being here. This person may have some type of secret sex addiction, okay? Perhaps that is the reason why you all, yeah, like, may have fallen out or broke up in the past because of some type of lying or cheating or sneaking and creeping around or something like that with the Seven of Swords, okay? But I do see the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it's like this person wants this relationship, this partnership with you again. They feel like you are their emotional fulfillment. Mm -mm. This person is aware that you have options, choices, decisions. Like, they, they're aware that you have other options. And this is the reason why when this person comes in to make you some type of offer, this person, I feel like... It, Maybe coming... Maybe giving you a large amount of money here, okay? But this person is very determined. Very motivated and determined. Full of passion. Full of drive. Um, to take action. It's like they have clear vision. They've made a decision on what they want. Even though this person... I feel like this person secretly still has this sex addiction. Okay? But it's like... It's like they're sure that you are the person that they want a serious committed relationship with. Mm -mm. I feel like you all have endured a lot in your commitment together, but somebody is, this person is still very much determined. They're hoping to manifest you back in. So what else is going on here? You definitely need to listen to your intuition and follow your wisdom as it relates to this situation, Spirit is saying. 
Um, so y'all don't wind uh, back up in a situation, you know, the same situation that y'all came from or what have you. Yeah, four of wands. You may have... Uh, what the hell? This person either wants to marry you or this may be somebody that you were married to previously. Y'all could be... Uh, have a legal separation here or actually gotten divorced here. Either this person, either you never married this person, but you have a family with this person, and this person is coming in to ask you to marry them. If you were married to this person before, this person is coming in on bending me, uh, telling telling you how much they want you, they need you, and so forth because you're irreplaceable okay this person has been with other people and it's like they can't replace you okay because the love that you have for them or show them can't be matched with anyone else here they want this relationship between you all to be successful um in some type of way here yeah um they're they're ready to be a a good father they're ready to be the man that you need them to be but i'm telling you with this moon and this devil here this person still got some kinky freaky risky type of behavior or either still has a sex addiction this person could even been paying for sex mm. -hmm. yeah so this, I mean, like, this is a situation that is really up to you, okay? Spirit is saying you deserve love, um, and it is safe for you to love, okay? If you want, if the both of you all want this situation uh, to happen, to work out, y'all both going to have to put forth the effort, okay, um, to make this work, okay? Otherwise, um, if you feel like this person is still going to be juggling you with uh, other lovers, or what have you, then you're going to have to release this ex for good, okay? But yeah, somebody's ex is definitely coming back in. This person is coming in hot and heavy, honey. They're going to be sending you some very swift, fast communication. Um, they're going to tell you that, you know, you're, you're the only one for them. You make them happy. They want, you know, you, you all's family to be whole, okay? Um, that you you fulfill them emotionally and they want commitment with you they want marriage with you okay um they're gonna make you this proposition proposal this offer empress okay um this person even is even coming in with abundance uh stability and security um because this person know that you have other options. This person is wanting you to take a leap. But they're taking a leap of faith towards you. And they're wanting you to take that leap of faith with them. Um, and this is the reason why. This person is definitely going to be very generous. Very giving. Uh, very affectionate. Okay. Because they want this passion. They want this growth between you all again. They definitely want to be intimate with you again. And they're very motivated and determined to make you all's relationship successful. Okay. Like I said, this air sign from your past, uh, there's a lot of secret things, hidden things. There's a lot of illusions with them, okay? Um, maybe this person kept it hidden or secret from you that they had some type of sex addiction of some kind. But I feel like because of the, like this person has some type of sex addiction, but they love you type of thing okay but it's like they have clear vision and they have made a decision as you know standing in this emperor energy okay this masculine energy manly man type of energy that they want you okay so either y'all are gonna make it work or y'all are not here okay um you could know about the lies, about the deceptions, about the cheating, about the sneaking and creeping around. Maybe there were gossip or rumors or what have you. Um, ooh. This person could even... <laughs> this person could even be bisexual. They could even go both ways, okay? So it's up to you as to whether or not you want to make this thing work. If you want to make this will go around again um with with you and this you know between you and this person spirit is saying okay spirit what else is going on 
So this is an older man who is uh, 40 plus years old. So this person has, uh, this person could be polysexual. They have a sexual or romantic attraction towards more than one gender. Mm -mm. This person wants you to stay with them. I would have stayed with me because I'm all, because um, you're all I need here, okay? This person feel like you got the love that they need. Mm-mm. Heard any other messages? This person wants to be craved by you. You could also be older as well. Both of you all are mature age. That polysexual will definitely explain this moon uh, devil energy here. Okay. Yeah, this person is not only polysexual, uh, like have sexual or romantic attraction towards more than one gender, but this person has had quite the number of random hookups. Okay. I believe this person was even paying for sex for, from certain persons. This person has definitely been with men and women. Mm -hmm. Spirit, what else is going on here? This person still has a really high sex drive. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. I'm even seeing pansexual here. Are there any other messages? So this person is coming out as polysexual and pansexual, okay? Um, but it's like it's like this person has made like the conscientious decision that that you are the person that they want a serious committed relationship with, that you are the person that they would like marry or what have you to say that this person has changed their you know promiscuous ways i doubt it with the moon and the devil being here okay that's likely a piece of information that that person didn't want to come out in this reading um Any other messages? Yeah, so this person was a cheating partner or spouse, okay? That you were with before, but they feel like you got the love that they need, okay? This person wants you to stay with them because um, they're all you need or you're all that they need here, okay? This person is mature, you're mature, but this person has definitely been involved in poly sexual behavior, pansexual behavior, random hookup type of behavior, okay? So, um, like I said, this is going to be up to you as to whether or not uh, you want to, you feel like y'all can work this out, okay? Um, with the Ten of Cups being here, the Emperor and the Empress out here, y'all y'all definitely, um, y'all definitely may, uh, obviously have a family together like have children together here so i'm seeing a couples retreat frequently this person may want to invite you to some type of couples retreat okay oh goodness another man is what really get him hard Ugh. i don't know if this is gonna work between y'all because this you are a feminine This, this this person clearly likes both men and women, but 
If another man is where it really gets him hard, then how um how committed is going to be you all's relationship? Is, will this person be as devoted in pleasing and fulfilling you? Like this is crazy. Yeah, best of both worlds, bisexual. So this person is really bisexual. Um this person has partook in pansexual or polysexual behavior, have had some random hookups, okay, as well. Oh. What else is going on here? So, of course, like I said, we know that this is a mature man here. Your limitation is only your imagination, okay? It's the type of energy that this person is in. Um, Empress, it's, it's, it's up to you, honey. Whether or not this is a situation that you can deal with, that y'all can heal from, or what have you. I can't say, like, this person may even want to... I'm seeing threesomes in reverse here, okay? So, like, you may not even be... I was about to say this person may want you to participate in, like, this behavior with them. But with threesomes in reverse, you may not be into this. This person may be into, like, cross-dressing or role-play or dressing up. This person may masturbate. Oh, uh, quite a bit, okay? Um, this person is a breast lover. I want to fuck you here. Multiple orgasms. This person is definitely very sexual. He is, this person is hypersexual. Okay? Um, yeah. This person is definitely down with, like, threesomes and, and shit like that. Um... Uh, Mm -mm. Yeah, this, I don't know. Rope. Mm -mm. See, you're not into, you may not be into a lot of things. You ain't into the threesomes. You're not into role playing and you're not into being a swinger couple. Role playing threesomes and swinger couple is in the reverse. Um, this person may tell you they need you so bad right now. Mm -mm. Yeah, this person he's he's down low in the closet switch hidden brother, okay? So would he ooh, ooh, ooh. he could even be gay for pay or or he fooled with those who's gay for pay or he's gay for pay with these secret lovers. Oh child. You've got mail. Um, he could have been fooling with somebody who's a stripper or a private dancer. Mm -mm. My goodness. Spirit, any other messages? He could have, he could like face sitting. He could have a 10 to 12 inch cock. <laughs> yeah of course he said he don't have a dirty mind he just has a sexy imagination mm -mm. this person is a breast lover for sure Okay, hey, y'all. So, yeah, that's what's going on here. We got the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck, lying, cheating, sneaking and creeping around. Ugh. I think this person is still going to be into this, okay? This person may be popular or have a large following or, or have some type of popularity here. Seven of Swords with the star here, with the Page of Swords. There could even be some type of gossip about he could have been messing around with somebody who's a warlock, a king of wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. So this king of swords has been fucking with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, who could be into the dark arts or witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo, or who's a witch practitioner in something. Yes, somebody that he works with. The Eight of Pentacles here. Somebody that he works with or travels with, okay? But yeah, he's in mental conflict because of some type of judgments um, that may get out. 
you know, about his activities here, okay? Because this is somebody who I feel like is, yeah, because he, he's a down low switch hidden brother. So he's heterosexual openly, publicly, but behind the scenes, you know, another man gets him hard here. So he's trying to stand his ground to overcome conflict, um, while trying to have courage and faith and strength in a situation. You could be an earth sign, feminine, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that he's involved with, okay? But he is... Uh, he, he been in some damn. He been in some hot and heavy with a a, a masculine fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. You got the Queen of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Here's the Knight of Wands here. Another fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. You got the Queen of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, uh, and there could be some type of conflict. He's had a lot of different lovers, maybe even one time. There could be some type of fighting, fussing, cussing, arguments, disagreements, misunderstanding. There's definitely some type of conflict and defeat because of some type of truth or clarity getting out about something. You see this here? He could be into like BDSM, dominatrix type of shit or what have you here. You see this woman in this leather get up and like got whips and chains excite him tying up and different shit here okay so this person could be dealing with some type of burdens hardships or problematic situations because of the king of cups masculine uh oh scorpio cancer pisces Ugh. yeah so this person is trying to find some type of balance do things in moderation yeah because there's some type of betrayal or disloyalty or, or or sabotage or ruin that's going on because of these third party situations that he's involved in. I know who this is about. I know who this is. Um but this wheel of fortune is turning, okay? Somebody is hanging around in limbo, stuck, stagnant, waiting on something to happen here. Uh yeah. There's a lot going on here. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it is what it is. Like, if, if you are aware of these things about this man, like, as far as, like, his sexuality and way of being and all this other kind of stuff and what have you, then, you know, I don't know, maybe I could work it out or something like that or whatever, but... I don't know. I, I wonder if this person like genuinely wants to work it out with you or are they just trying to save face and, you know, have a woman on their arm to cover up the fact that they really get down with the get down with other men and should something come out, it's like, bitch, please, I got a woman. You know what I'm saying? Um, because, yeah. Mm -mm. Bisexual, pansexual, and polysexual all came up with this person here this person wants you to stay with them because you're all that they need but obviously not because this person you know doing what they're doing with other people here this person has a sex addiction they, they keep in their secret like the the sexual like the temptations the lustful desires the you know uh, the sex addictions or whatever because y'all know the devil is all about that temptations lust desires addictions like sex addictions addictive patterns of behavior bad habits toxicity all of that but it's like this person has clear vision when it comes to you and have made a decision that you are who they want in their life for real they feel like that you got the love that they need okay they want you to stay with them because you're all that they need or what have you but you know like i said this is someone from your past and you know there was a cheating partner or a spouse okay or whatever so that was going on here y'all okay um so this reading could literally be for anybody here okay um lower level higher level what have you uh yeah so that's your mini love reading child i hope this gave you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you might be dealing with or pertaining to a situation that you might know that someone else is dealing with if you are cross watching for those of you who would like to contact me you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com you can also follow me on instagram which is shine bright like a diamond three six with the underscore between each word um, for any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. 
You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign two diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at thirty six diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, sonny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So, go watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you, or harm you, honey. Keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready... You ain't gonna get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.